In this BDR Suite demo, I'll show you how to configure PostgreSQL Backup and how to restore them. BDR Suite offers you PostgreSQL Backup with flexible storage options, granular recovery, centralized management, and more. To get started, head over to the BDR Suite website and click Start Free Trial. As a first step, download and install BDR Suite on Windows or Linux machines, or even as a Docker container. For a step-by-step -step video on how to install and set up backup server, check out the link in the description box. Be sure to fill in the form provided for technical assistance. Once the installation is complete, open the BDR Suite backup server web console. Enter the username, password, and click Sign In. You can now experience BDR Suite's full featured version in your environment with a 30 day free trial. As a first step, configure a backup repository to store backup data. You can do this from the Infrastructure Backup Repository menu. You can either use on premise or remote storage like DAS, SAN, NAS, or use your own public cloud storage, Amazon S3, Azure Blob, Google Cloud, and S3 compatible storage like Wasabi, MinIO, Backblaze, etc. Next, add the PostgreSQL database server for backup. Click on Applications and DBs menu. Go to the Data Sources menu and click on PostgreSQL database server. You can add a PostgreSQL database running on either a Windows server or a Linux server. For a detailed step by step guide on how to add PostgreSQL to the data source, check the video linked in the description below. Once the host edition is successful, the target server will be listed as a data source. You can now configure PostgreSQL database backup. Go to the backup, configure backup, PostgreSQL database menu, specify a name for the backup job. Next, select the backup repository and click next to proceed. On the database selection page, expand the host to select the databases. Select the database you wish to backup. BDR Suite offers flexible backup scheduling options. Select the backup frequency for incremental backups. For this backup job, I've configured daily backups at 9 p.m. Only the initial backup is full. After that, it is forever incremental. If you want to schedule periodic full backups, you can enable additional full backup options. Click Next to proceed. Retention allows you to specify the number of versions and period to retain the backed up files. By default, five versions are set. You can customize the retention policies as per your storage and compliance requirements. Once that's done, click Next. Backup Data Encryption encrypts all the backup data during transfer and at rest. To encrypt backups using a custom password, you can enable backup encryption and add a password. Then click Next. Finally, review your backup job configuration. If you want to run the backup job immediately after configuration, you can check this box and click Save. Once again, click Save on the confirmation dialog. Then, you will be redirected to List of Backup Jobs page. Here, click on In Progress icon and view the backup progress. Once the backup is completed, you can edit, check status, view reports, and manage your backup jobs from here. Click the Report icon to view the backup job level report. Next, let us look into the PostgreSQL recovery. Navigate to the Recovery menu. Click on Restore button alongside the backup job from which you want to restore the backed up PostgreSQL database. Select the host you want to restore and choose. Download to proceed. Select the restore point and click Next. The list of drives on the selected host will be listed. You can expand the tree and select the database you want to restore. Then click to choose the restore location. Select the folder path on the backup server machine to restore. Then. You can choose to download the database as a compressed and encrypted file with a password. Click Next. Finally, review the recovery configuration and click the Restore button. Click on OK Proceed. You will be redirected to the recovery page from where you can view the restore progress. Click on the Reports icon to view the recovery report. Once the restore is successful, you will find the restored database on the restore location. Now it's your turn to try it out. Visit our website to start your free trial. And if you need any assistance, contact BDR support. Thanks for watching.